<laughs> Laura's lost it. Laura has lost it. We just finished 35 kilometers, about 10 hours. So it's uh, it's about 7 a.m. It absolutely hammered rain all night. You can see all the uh, you can see all like the the bit of flooding in the campsite. But our tent is this old outbound 90s tent, and it got crushed. Like the the fly is touching the tent, so it's super wet. Um, it's pretty soaked inside as well, but hey, eh, what can you do? We're gonna wait it out a little bit and maybe try and make breakfast. I did a little fix here and put some poles in the ground with the with the tent fly and stuff, but uh, it's chilly. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can get stuff dried up and then uh, make some breakfast and, and either do the next leg or or reconsider here, given we're having a pretty serious gear failure. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a funny one. So I tied a I tied a makeshift fly on our tent. I'm in the food uh, in the food area right now, staying dry. Got my warm clothes on. I'm gonna start some coffee. Laura's just getting her her stuff on. Um, it's cold. It's wet. But the way she goes when you're hiking. Um, we'll see what what the weather kind of brings today or looks like. Our tent is so flipping wet that maybe it's the play for us to uh, to do the next section of the hike as a day hike and come back here um, as it make this base camp and just kind of come back here tonight or maybe you know we pack it up and head to the trail or we pack it up and go out we'll have to decide once uh, once we see kind of which direction the the weather goes how that cooperates for us get that up there we go so i'm gonna get the coffee going <laughs> hands are pretty frigid it'll warm me up coffee's on I'm staying warm. Rain hasn't stopped yet, so hopefully, hopefully it stops. We'll see what's gonna happen. Um, today we're hiking up that big, you see that shale rock? The scree, we're going up that scree path and over the mountain there, and that's where Divide Lake is, so that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be real interesting. Pretty excited for this, uh, this boiling water here. Still a beautiful view of the lake, even though the, the mountains are blocked off, so. Really can't beat it. I'm pumped. So the tent, the tent is completely soaked through. Our sleeping bags are, are soaking wet at the feet. And uh, we're definitely not packing up the tent and hiking the tent to the next spot. I think we're gonna do a day hike to Talus Lake or as far as we wanna make it, come back here, reassess, and, uh, and then either hike out once we make it back or probably sleep here, depending how dry it is. We'll make that judgment call once we get here um, and see the the condition of the tent the tent was like peeling over like almost splitting in half so uh, that was also a little crazy but uh, we're gonna go we're gonna see see what see how the hike is and uh, go from there all right here goes nothing well laura and i have set up probably the most hack tarp setup over the tent doors as possible because as you can see there's nowhere to tie a good tarp this looks a little bit uh, like a um some sort of uh encampment but you know, whatever, this is what we got. It is wet. We're going up that way. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, kind of go from there basically. See if it clears up for us. Not wildly optimistic. <laughs> We're currently on the Glissand Pass. You can see the shelter and our crap little tent down there. This isn't really what I'd call fun. It's pretty cold. Rain's pretty intense. We're gonna go up the pass, make a judgment call, see if the day hike's worth it. Why not be? If we're not gonna see a thing. But we gotta try because that's all part of the game. Ah. I'll tell you one thing: the Glisson Pass. It's not so bad. This weather is just absolutely horrible i don't know freaking hurricane out here but uh getting a little sweaty not always the best hopefully the wind comes down the other side but i don't think that took us too long we're nearing the the top portion of the pass probably only been about 15 20 minutes just steep we are 
campsite and you cannot see uh, the lake, which which is probably down there. Um, we're gonna get out of the wind here behind the rock. It's starting to, to hail. Uh, yeah! Woo! It's horrible, horrible weather. You know, they say there's no bad weather. There's just bad gear. And in this case, we have bad uh, bad gear in terms of our tent. Everything else we're prepared for, but our tent, we knew our tent was insufficient for crazy weather, and uh, it is. So the section coming down, there's the glissade pass, the top. The section coming down is really cool. You're coming down this red scree kind of section. There's Laura there, and, and the lake, uh, Divide Lake, we can see it in the distance. Um, we're still undecided on the, the complete plan, but uh, we're gonna keep moving and reassess in another 45 minutes or so. We're gonna see how much elevation we lose, which looks like a fair bit. So we made it down the Glissan Pass, it's right behind us, and now we're heading towards Divide Lake, and it's this nice little green, beautiful tundra field. Usually only get this wet when I'm fishing. It's gorgeous in here. Just kind of tucked into a big bowl of shale rock and steep peaks. It's pretty much the trail is like a full river right now. They've had so much rain. Um, we're headed this way into the abyss. So that, that little lake isn't talus. That's just part of the, uh, part of the runoff. So, I mean, uh, isn't Divide. So Divide's probably to the left around this corner. So we're gonna keep chugging on. We've actually taken a left out of the area where we were. I thought the lake would be behind here, but we're turning around these mountains here. This is just beautiful. We're right in the grass. And now we're headed around into the adjacent valley. Fabulous. Spirits are still high. I think we're probably getting close to two hours, Laura. Less yeah, than that still. So she can't check. It's too wet. We're probably getting closer to two hours. Probably past two hours. Yeah. So that's interesting. All right. Keep on pushing. The, the route is pretty much just a flood path right now. So there's like no reasonable way to, to walk it. The trail's literally a river. We are rounding the corner and we are at Divide Lake. We have made it. The rain has not let up. But there she is. Beautiful. Looks very similar to uh, to Grizzly Lake, eh? Yeah. Gorgeous. It's just gorgeous with the huge peaks in the background. Would be nice to see the fog move, but we're not getting that today. We'll get a little bit of a closer view, and uh, and then we'll make the call on whether or not we're doing Talus or we're just gonna boogie on out of here. So we're crossing the river into, into the Divide Lake campground. There is the cook shelter in front of us. Um, it's a soaker. Cook shelter, bear cache, looking over the lake. Here we are on the shores of Divide Lake. It's truly beautiful, the mountaintop, stunning. The water is almost a little bit more blue than Grizzly Lake. It's a gorgeous one as well. Wow, can't beat it. Except if it was sunny, but I'm still having fun. Gorgeous lake, gorgeous day. <laughs> so here are the tent pads. All the tent pads seem to have a really nice view of, uh, of the lake. And the cook shelters just down this way. Just high view of the lake. We're walking towards a little ways towards Talus. You can see the tents right there, the campsite. The passage to Grizzly was just through there. The sky hasn't opened us up for us yet. We're gonna look just over this little knoll here and then uh, decide what the plan is. All the plans seem crappy. Sleep another night with our soaking wet tent, pack it all up, soaking wet, and hike four hours with heavy bags, soaking wet. It's all uh, a 
four plus four, so eight hours. It's all a lot of a lot of uh, intensity, so we're gonna have to make that call pretty soon. All right, it looks like we're doing it. it looks like we're making the push to uh, to the last and final lake. I forget the name. I'm so wet right now. What's the name? Talus. Talus Lake. This is probably the most tundra type landscape we've walked on now. The grass is all green and yellow. The rain's kind of slowing down a little bit, which feels nice, but the wind is still just as hefty as ever. But really happy. Divide Lake is still to our left and uh, still just gorgeous moving through here. You could imagine, you know, clear skies. These greens would just POP really nicely. When I said the rain was slowing down, I lied, it's pouring again. We've got this random, a little lake type thing to our right, but that's not Talus Lake. The way to Talus is just a barren, flat trail. That's a cool little waterfall kind of runoff to the right. A couple little staircase waterfalls there. And I think we're gonna do another left turn at some point to get to the uh, the lake at Talus there to see it. It is so wet, I am soaked like a dog. I think it's about the three hour mark right now. Um, maybe more. We're not thinking about time anymore. We gotta, we gotta go back either way, so. What a time to be alive. So right in the distance there, we can see Talus Lake and we can see the, the tent and the hut. It's completely socked in. There's no view up there, so we're not even gonna walk that extra 2K, but, but we've seen it. This is the real stunner here. We got this little lake tucked in here with a little island. Beauty. Super, super beauty. I don't know what this is called, but I'm liking it a lot. The cool thing about Talus Lake in this area is that it, like Grizzly was very mountainous, um, divided at the same field. This is, you're really in the open kind of tundra. So the campsite's right there. So you're kind of camping by a lake, huge mountains on one side, and then the tundra on the other side. So that's what makes this hike so cool. You're kind of in the tundra, not in a meadow, and you're between massive, massive peaks. So pretty cool. I think it's been just over three hours for us, maybe longer. Um, we're gonna start heading back towards camp, check out the tent. Fingers crossed that it's not totally mangled. Uh, Laura, how are we doing? 140, we left at? 10 20 three and a bit hours so we got to get moving that was fun glad we did it um now we gotta you know it's gonna be more of a mental challenge the rest of the day and the night than a um than a physical one but sometimes you gotta you know be uncomfortable uh, it's important in life to, to do things that make you uncomfortable make you stronger as a person builds character so it's kind of what we're out here doing today we are back at uh we were back at divide lake from talus we were singing the entire way from Talos to here, which was actually really fun. Passing the time, making some noise. Quick update, we're almost back at the pass and it is still raining. So we're on like hour five, probably. Hour 50 of rain, I don't even know. Yeah, the pass is looking just as cloudy as it was before. But the meadow, very beautiful, not holding that fog. The sun wants it, that's what we said before too, but then it tricks you. They come around the corner and it bites you like a wild snake. Oh. All right, time for some elevation gain. We are back on the pass, but we're on the other side. The rain has actually stopped. I hate to say it, shouldn't be saying that, but it's actually stopped. And we got a steep, probably half hour push until it's home free, and then we pack everything up. So not really that home free, but uh, we're still in great spirits, you know. The uh, the hike out will probably be better be better than minus two and wet in the tent. So we are almost not quite at the top of the uh, the pass here, the Glisson Pass. It's clearing up a little bit for us. Just gorgeous through here. The rain has officially stopped, which is amazing. We can see a little bit more of everything. We are at the top of the pass. This last portion, she's a steep one. So slippy. So slippy with a big pack, it would be hard. It's like, it's very, it's pretty much straight up. 
and with the water it's uh it's even more intense blistery on this side again we're back in the rain back in the rain the wind but there you can see grizzly lake again right on coming down you're getting a beautiful full view of grizzly lake it's still socked in it's still raining but it's cool to see it from above with those two little kind of channel portions there's only two tents left ours and a family who was there so everyone packed it out of here no doubt we're back at the campsite it took about six and a half hours here's our makeshift thing let's see if it worked oh my god there's, look at that side Zoom up on that, it looks baby. pooling i can't it, it looks like it's pooling the tent has seen better days that's for sure well let's look inside yeah we made the call we went into the tent and the tent was soaked. Like every, it was a swimming pool in there, local pool, old ladies were in bathing suits hanging out. So we were like, you know what? We're gonna call it three and a half hours down. We saw it all today. It was gorgeous. Uh, we had great views going in yesterday too. So we're doing the unorthodox one day method of the uh, Grizzly um, Divide Talus route. Yeah, yeah, highly recommend, especially pick it the rainiest days you can too. Um, but with 6.30, I'm thinking it's going to take us under three hours. Laura's always a little more conservative about timing, but I think three, three hours. We're going to get there by 10. 6.30, I think we'll be there. I think 10, three and a half. I think we'll be there before 9.30. I think about 9.50, 9.30. Won't do too much filming because I filmed a bunch yesterday. But we'll say goodbye to our tent pad and we'll say goodbye to this beautiful lake. Um, just one party left here. It's crazy. This thing probably was fully booked and only one group is here tonight. Nice family we were chatting with and they were here last night. They're gonna have a nice time just being the only group here and no rain and they're staying warm. So that's great. I mean, only positive things to say about this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Bring the right gear, like bring everything and bring a tent that is kind of water repellent. Ours was like more of water attractant absorbs water is like a sponge tent so we're about an hour in just an absolutely gorgeous evening for hiking we're lucky it was gorgeous on the way in and it was gorgeous the whole time just better when there's not rain slapping your face gorgeous on the way out i think today we're probably at about the 29 kilometer mark nearing at the 30 kilometer mark um and, uh, and yeah, we're just kind of gonna go up back to that ridge where we were yesterday and then back down through that valley there. And uh, we'll be back at the Dempster Highway. We were probably hiking earlier today. Talus is probably like kind of to the right. We're probably seeing some of the grass kind of by those peaks, but man, these peaks are just stunning. They look kind of like rolling hills and then they're sharp as hell, loads of grass. You can see the range on the other side too tonight. And we got a great view of the Dempster Highway running along down there as we make our way down the ridge. There's our car. There's that pesky old truck right on. There's the final ridge up and down to the car. Well, Laura's lost it. Laura has lost it. We just finished 35 kilometers, about 10 hours hiking time today, 11 oh, hours this, moving this was, time. This was three and a half plus six and a half. This was three and a half plus six and a half. 10 hours. So 10 hours of moving time pretty much. So that's a big day. My legs are shaking. I'm, and now it's starting to rain. Yeah, one more, one more rainfall. <laughs> we did it. We have done it. Oh, the parking lot. It's a great hike. A lot of fun. We're gonna get all packed up here. The last hour was really fun. I was just gonna film Laura singing the whole time, but we didn't get eaten by a grizzly, so You're welcome. we're happy. Yeah, because of Laura singing. Um, they, it, it was beautiful, but the grizzlies don't like that, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if humans would either. Um, it was an amazing hike. Thanks for coming along. We're gonna get all packed up here, have a nice cold one, have a glass of wine or something in the rain. I don't know. It'll feel good and sleep dry tonight. So thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, and uh, I'll see you next time.